Hello everybody, I know you can't see me, I'm trying to get everything adjusted. Um, I was mentioned in the Briggs book tag over at Dane Cobain, Dane Cobain's channel, and I guess I want to do it. Um, I am an INTP because I overthink everything, and because that's what the test said. So let me get this Word document I got up. Answer the prompts that make you... Acronym, oh, it's step one, and then I already did that. Step two, answer the prompts that make your acronym. Introvert, you can be outgoing, but need to recharge with some calming solitude. What is your favorite place to read and unwind? Why is this little oasis where you choose to go? I like to, when I, back in the day, I'd love to go down by the river, because we had several of them in Zanesville, and I'd actually sit at the picnic table and would read for a couple hours. That was really enjoyable, but living up here, it's usually in my uh, bedroom where I sit and read. Intuition. Some books are meant to be understood and others are meant to be explored. What book or character stands for an idea that is deeply meaningful to you? I'm trying to think. What I would have to say is... I know this is probably cliche, but the the Bible as meditation literature, not as actually believing in it. Um, but yeah, I, one of the yeah, it's pretty much the Bible or the Dhammapada, the Dhammapada or the Bhagavad Gita. All religious books are deeply meaningful because they're able to help me understand why my life is so screwed up and what's wrong with humanity in general. T, thinking. Nonfiction for some can seem tedious, but where would we be without the truths of our world? What book, text, or reading material have you found yourself referring to when in need of real world answers? In all honesty, the Dhammapada. The, saying, or t the teachings or the sayings of the Buddha. That's usually what I go back to because there's always something on there. You want to quit smoking? There's something on there. You lose your temper. They say being angry at someone is like holding onto a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at some someone else. You are the one that gets burned. And I'm going to say that again. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intention of throwing it at someone else. You are the one that gets burned. P. Perceiving. TBRs are fun to construct and meant to be destroyed. Do you stick to the list or mix it up every now and then? What's a book you've put down that you want to pick up back up but just haven't been in the mood for? I got halfway through Stephen King's It and then I'm like, I gotta take a break from this. And then I was reading Jay Bonansinga and Robert Kirkman's, I think it's the seventh or sixth book in the series, The Walking Dead, Search and Destroy. I got halfway through that and I like put that one down too because... It just got boring after so long. Step three, answer the question matched with your personality. I did my best. Sorry if you don't like your face. <laughs> INTP, the thinker. Many people let themselves feel, but you find value in letting yourself think. What books, ideas, or message stuck with you past the last page? Did it change your perspective or solidify an idea? Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Um, one of the characters in the book actually says, sometimes the dead are best left dead. And it's an odd thing because it's just a little book. But that is actually something I really believe in. Um, it's a really good meditation quote from one of Stephen King. Every book has meditation quotes, but Stephen King's was probably the best. Things that are dead are best left dead. That's what I took from that book. So, please like, like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing comments below and what have you. Auf Wiedersehen.